السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته friends welcome back to my channel my viewer watched my last video for repairing SMPS and he asked question why there are 12 volt across this VCC diode instead of 0.7 volt I tested voltage while repairing this VCC section and I checked that there are 12 volt across this rectifier diode it is not zener diode why there are 12 volt if you don't have good practical experience in electronics never do this experiment because we are dealing with live voltage I will apply power to the board and never touch any component when power is applied I am checking voltage DC voltage across this VCC diode here are 12.25 volt why but if we check voltage across any diode other diode that will give some nominal voltage we can say 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.7 volt why this diode is giving this voltage we know diode is a one way conductor when we use it in any DC circuit positive negative and we connect in series with some RL current will pass in the diode if we discuss electronic current from negative to positive if we are studying conventional current at that time from positive terminal of the battery to the negative in this situation if we check voltage across this diode these will 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.7 volt depending on the type of the diode depending on the current these are called forward voltage when the battery voltage will exceed from this level the current will start to flow these are junction voltage barrier voltage but when we connect this diode in AC circuit any transformer anything when we connect here with any RL now the story will change here is just only one direction current because it is DC current but in this situation when there is transformer action at that time there are two type of voltage one is called forward voltage what is that condition when this end is positive this end is negative the current will flow in this situation it will drop 0.7 volt if we are providing 12 volt peak from zero line this is zero 12 volt at that time 12 minus 0 0.7 volt dropped voltage 0.7 volt here remaining 11.3 volt will reach to the load normally these voltage are neglected but when we test it in DC circuit it will drop this voltage when this negative peak will come at that time it will behave like open circuit its internal resistance will increase why because its junction will reverse biased in electronic circuit in electrical circuit when there is infinity resistance there is high resistance that point will drop all the voltage what are that that are these voltage negative peak in that situation it will drop all the peak voltage here 
12 volt. When we are measuring with multimeter, it will show the higher value, this one. That is reason we find these reverse voltage. Let's check some diode data sheet. Let's check data sheet for this 1 and 4007 diode. 1 and 4007. It is 1 ampere diode that is forward current. If you see here, maximum recurrent peak reverse voltage. These are peak reverse voltage that are 1000 volt. This voltage value is destructive value at this level 1000 volt 1 and 4007 will damage. And maximum RMS voltage, working voltage that are 700 volt. The upper is DC level and this is AC voltage, RMS voltage. Maximum DC blocking voltage. 1000 volt. These are blocking voltage when we are testing here 12 volt in the data sheet we will find blocking voltage. Maximum average forward rectified current that is 1 ampere. That is forward condition this current. In reverse current it will block the voltage it will block the current. In reverse current when it is in reverse condition the maximum current is 5 micro ampere. We can see at that time it will provide a huge resistance. When 1 ampere current will flow at that time it will drop 1 volt across its junction that is V forward, forward voltage. When we are checking diode in DC circuits we deal with V forward. And here these are called VRRM. These are peak voltage. These are also called blocking voltage. When we are testing with multimeter, at that time we will check VRMS. If you are measuring AC voltage, it will around 700 volt. If we measure DC voltage, it will around 1000 volt. So these are the blocking voltage, the reverse voltage. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumb up. If you have any question, please write in the comments. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.